Katie also had a soft side, especially when it came to her passion for music. We always called her Katie Bird because she has always been the singer. And I remember, like at times, even when we were younger, and her like singing herself to sleep. But it would also put me and you know David to sleep as well. So she's always been our singing bird. When Sister Angela started singing lessons, Katie wanted in. She copied me, and they found out she had the real talent, which is fine. I think there was like some sisterly competition there, and so I would hear her practicing in her room, and she would be practicing these Christian songs. And、um, when she wasn't looking, take the tape out of the deck and practice them in my tape deck. And then I showed my mom. I said, "Check this out." And my mom was like, "Oh, well, maybe we should get you voice lessons too." So that's how it started. Only reason that I live is Christ came down and died for you and me. I gotta live because Christ died, and though He has suffered, He suffered it all for me. Katie really enjoyed singing gospel songs and singing Christian songs. That's where her writing career started. Was in the church. Performing in churches is kind of where she got a taste for all eyes being on her. It was like the one thing I could pull out, and everybody would just pay attention. Like they would drop what they were doing, and, you know. So I felt like I had some kind of power in a way. She was always performing at the church and restaurants or coffee houses or in the crowd of people. And she loved it. <laughs> I got my hands on a guitar at 13, and then I was like, "Whoa, wow! This is like, you know, this is ammo." Being able to say what I think and put it on, you know, a bed of music.